Hi guys, um, I decided to make this video because um, I've been looking for um, a proper solution how to um, route uh, tracks from Studio Drummer and Contact 5 Player to a Logic Pro environment, uh, you know, you know, to create proper drum uh, um, drums uh, stems and and I couldn't find a solution so until recently, and um, and uh, you know. This is actually the reason behind this video. Uh, this is actually my f one of my first videos, so don't judge me too harsh. Just trying to uh, um, to help, uh, you know, uh, to those who uh, who can find solution uh, like me. So I'm gonna load um, Contact Five um, um, player, and I'm gonna use uh, the eight stereo and the eight mono channels. Uh, configuration that's actually a perfect configuration for a drum set right here we go um, um, it's a little bit slow since I'm, I'm writing a video capturing so uh, bear with me All right um, as you see uh, in quantify player my um, in my outputs I have right now eight stereo channels. Uh, when you open Contact 5 Player, uh, by default, you're supposed to have Stereo 1, Stereo 2, and Surround Channel. Um, I'm gonna change it in a, in, a, in a minute. So I'm gonna destroy this configuration on purpose, alright? Just... Um, didn't do anything. Oops. That's the wrong one. Um, I don't want to delete. Da -da 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 -da. Well, in in a moment, uh, we'll just we'll just get rid of it, and I'll show you how to create um, eight stereo and eight mono uh, uh, channels uh, for for the studio drummer. So I'll go to my uh, studio drummer. I'll just pick up um, a light session kit okay gonna close the browser um, we don't need it so what's happening when you have your uh, stereo 1, stereo 2 and surround thing um, you can click on add channels and since we picked 8 stereo and 8 mono channels configuration, so put here 8, 2 means stereo. Uh, so we're going to create 8 stereo tracks. Uh, in your sound card uh, host output, select the first stereo 1 option. Make sure it's ascending. Output assignment. And if you click here, delete existing channels before creating new ones. It will actually override that stereo one, stereo two surround uh, channels configuration. All right, so I'll click OK. Well, in my case, I already have eight stereo channels, but now I, I see them. You know, your surround thing disappeared, and now you're supposed to have eight stereo uh, tracks. Um, the next step, we need to create uh, mono uh, channels uh, for kick, snare, uh, etc. So add channels. Eight. Gonna do mono, so one. Um, and here I go to my first auxiliary channel. Make sure it's ascending. We don't need to delete anything. So just click OK. And here we go. Uh, let me just. Can I make it bigger? No, not really. All right. Um, so I'm gonna leave leave out the first four stereo channels uh, in case uh, you know you want to add something in the future. Uh, so don't, I'm not touching those. I'm gonna start from the uh, this, uh, stereo five channel. Um, so this is, will be our main output. So right now, the main output you know you can see it right here. Um, 
is redirected to stereo one we're gonna change it so this is gonna be our main output so main this is gonna be our overhead uh, stereo mics um, room mics so uh, stereo uh, this is gonna be um, a percussion um, uh, we can also keep this stereo if you have like tambourine and wood blocks and you know all this stuff uh, claps um, so you can create like a stereo image for those um, now um, here uh, in my mono channel um, I will start from a uh, um, studio drama comes with a um, room a mono mic so that's what I'm gonna put in here so room mono and then I'll go to kick then I'll go to snare let's get some extra stuff here and hi-hats tone 1 tone 2 Tom three and Tom four. All right. So, so we created like a, a multi-output thing. Now, when we go to the mixer, um, uh, studio, uh, um, you know, drama mixer. When you click on kit mics, then you'll see the overhead stereo on the room and overhead mono. Um, they all, all of them, all these mics, if you click on settings, they redirect it to master output, which is, in our case, a stereo one. We do want to now redirect these outputs to the outputs of a Contact 5 player. And when I click here, I don't see all my eight stereo and eight mono tracks that we just created. And this is because we need to reboot contact player so if you go uh, to the top menu uh, there's a, an exclamation mark and that actually will reboot a contact 5 player so I just clicked then I go to my overhead stereo mic output section and as you see all my um, confu like, you know everything that I created appears here so I'll go to overhead stereo I put in here then I'll go to room mic, so room, this, or, um, oh, room mono, that's actually not room mono, it's, uh, sorry, it's overhead mono, so I'm just gonna uh, um, update the name. Okay, I'll just reboot again. Okay, so I see it changed to overhead mono. Um, then I'll go to kick, make sure it's a kick is selected, snare, hi-hat, tom 2, Yeah, and when we're done with this, I highly recommend you to um, save it as a multi-patch uh, so you don't have to go through this process again. Uh, now, I have tambourine and woodblock in here, so I'm just going to send them to a stereo percussion track. All right. Um... I haven't initialized yet all the levels. Um, you, you know, you can do it later. Uh, you know, you can get completely dry sound from Studio Drum, or you can still use some uh, configurations in here. It's totally up to you. Um, so so far, so good. Um, let me play some uh, one of the grooves. Okay, so as you see now, I'm playing uh, one of the grooves, and you can tell. Oops, I forgot one thing. 
so you you could see you know we had our overhead stereo mic and kick and etc. Uh, the only one I have forgot is the main output, which is right here. And um, um, I assigned uh, channels 9 and 10 for that main output, so we just need to click here. And um, choose our main output, the one we created. Now, let's play. Yep. So you see, it's, uh, it's actually it's working. Uh, the next step will be um, to uh, go to Logic, um, and since it's a multi-output uh, track, I will actually all we have to do just to click uh, plus button to open all the stereo and all the mono tracks. So just click. Uh, let's wait. Again, it's it's a little bit slow since I'm capturing the video. So we're supposed to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight, and I think this is it. Alright, um, so let me play the truth again. So you see now how logic uh, uh, corresponds to the group. Uh, let me just copy. I'm sorry, gonna copy the group in here. Gonna loop it. Um, and now, as I as I mentioned, um, I highly recommend you to go and save all this preset as save as multi. I have already my own configuration that I saved as multi. Uh, that's what I recommend you, uh, you know, to do. Um, so again, you don't have to go through all this process again. Um, the next, uh, I can close the um, Contact 5 player. And what we can do, um, uh, well, um, you can easily create, well, if you want to create like an, uh, um, capture a, a drum recording, let's say you want to create uh, audio stamps, uh, what you can do, um, you can send, well, I mean, let's first uh, rename all these channels uh, uh, accordingly. So, so this is our main, just give me a moment. Main. Okay, finally I'm done, it uh, took me a while with screen capturing. Um, um, so as you see, I uh, named the tracks accordingly, so like main, uh, overhead stereo, etc. The same way we have uh, in a Contact 5 player. Then what we can do, we can send all of these channels, we can send them to buses. So, um, so starting from main, I'll send it to bus 1. Plus two, etc. One, two, three, four, four stereo channels. So I'm gonna click plus, add new track, add four audio tracks. 
stereo. I'll make sure it's in in ascending order. And we start from bus number one. So I got uh, four uh, stereo tracks. So bus one, bus two, bus three, bus four on the inputs. Right now we'll create eight mono tracks. So eight mono, and this time we're starting. What well, we're continuing actually? Oops. So it's from bus number five. Make sure it's ascending. So now I got uh, the eight mono tracks. All I have to do now is to uh, enable recording. One just wants to just go to say uh, some testing folder. It doesn't matter. Just gonna enable. Okay, ready. So I'm gonna click record, uh, disable loop. Oh, it's really slow now. Sorry for that. One. should be enough so I don't need this anymore just to show you uh, this uh, video capturing is killing my computer so I'm gonna mute the, uh, the original media file now these are audio files, and if I zoom in, well, you can uh, you can see each and uh, each, each and one of them um, was bounced, so into into separate audio track. I uh, hope it it helps, and I hope uh, you know this video will help you. Um, as myself, I uh, spent over a month looking for solution, and. Uh, Finally, uh, I got it and uh, now I want to share it with you. Okay, take care.